Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In this video, we're going to look at how to set up your Visual Studio to have the maximum performance possible for yourself. So like any tips and tricks that will help you code faster. And the first two are going to be very quick, kind of like tricks. There is no really setup. It's just stuff that Visual Studio has that many people don't know it exists. My favorite one is the Pace Special. So if you have a, J a JSON or an XML, you can copy that into your clipboard and when you paste it, it'll paste it as a class. So that saves you the whole creating the class based on every field in it. Visual Studio takes care of it. So that's one of my favorite features that most people don't know. And the second one comes from Spontaneous Order in one of my latest videos that showed me that you can have a list of to-dos in Visual Studio. It's called Tasks List. And every time you type comment that says to-do and then other stuff it will show you the description and where it is and to enable this you just go view and task list so that's something you should enable it's really cool so you know all the to-dos that you promised yourself that you were going to do and you never got back to them and now let's move to actual extensions that you can install we're going to start with wix wix i use to create uh, msis which is a regular kind of like windows installer so if you're creating uh windows applications and you want to create the installer that says like install next 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 wix is great for that spell checker i cannot spell to save my life so having a spell checker in the code to spell check errors and stuff like that is great. So make sure you install this one. The last extension I wanna talk about is ReSharper. Uh, it does cost money and, and full disclosure, I got a free license from JetBrains for being coding Flamingo, but it is life-changing. It'll help you refactor your code. It'll teach you some code. So I've actually learned some stuff that I'm like, oh, I didn't know you could do this. This is really cool. And it really enhances your Visual Studio experience. The only bad thing is in Visual Studio 2022, it has actually been very uh, processing intense. It makes my Visual Studio lag. So I actually opened Writer to, to do some of the refactoring and then I use Visual Studio to code. The last one is GitHub Copilot. Right now it's in technical preview, you have to sign up, but it's, it's really good at kind of like predicting code. It's not a great for C Sharp. I've used it more for Python and stuff. And it has some like crazy features that you can like comment of like, hey, I want this function to be like, to find a positive number. You just comment, write that as a comment, press enter, and it'll auto complete the whole function for you just because it knows how to do that function. So really cool thing. I actually have a video on Copilot that I actually pass a bunch of lead code questions. I'm gonna link it down below and it's pretty cool. So those are my top things to add to Visual Studio. That's something I add to every single new computer when I install Visual Studio. What are the things you add? What's something that I missed? Please let me know down in the comments down below. And thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.